Hey everyone, today we're going to do this fun rainbow leopard look. This was inspired by my daughter's favorite Build-A-Bear stuffed animal. I'm going to be using the Tag Suzy Q rainbow cake to make this look. I'm going to start out by using Paradise White to make the base of the mask and a Fantasy Worldwide sponge. I'm just going to make two little bump shapes for the ear and then come over the eye and under the eye and over the nose to make a symmetrical mask shape. And next, using the neon pink from the cake and a large filbert brush, I'm going to go in and paint the inside of the ears. I'll also use a smaller filbert brush to paint a little heart on the nose. And while the paint's still wet, I'm going to apply some Afterglow Cosmetic Glitter on the nose and on the inside of the ears. And next, I'll give my Half Circle Fantasy Worldwide sponge six or seven spritzes of water and load it vertically with the Suzy Q Tag Rainbow Cake. And to create the rainbow leopard effect, I'm going to be using BAM stencil number 1002. And first we'll just come to the center of the forehead and tap, tap, tap the sponge along to make the rainbow leopard spots. Then we'll come along the cheek and do the same thing. We'll just pat it and make the rainbow leopard spots appear. And I didn't get a great load on the center of mine since I was doing it on myself, but that's okay. You can always come back in with some of the same color from your cake and fill in the spots that didn't apply very well. And next we'll come in with a number one liner brush and some of the purple from the cake and just add some details to the ear area. And using the same small number one liner brush, I'll go ahead and give the heart a little purple outline as well. And now with the number two brush, I'm just going to go in and outline the whole mask with a simple line using the same purple from the cake. And you could just be done right there, or if you want to, you can go in with a few quick white highlights. I'm using DFX White for this. And to bring the eyes out a little bit more, I'm using a Maxi Mop brush and some purple Ben Nye Lumiere's for eyeshadow for the design. And next I'll be using a number one Royal Majestic brush. This is my favorite brush for adding um, starbursts or eyelashes to a design. It has such a sharp point on it. So I'm using some Global Strong Black to go in and add some eyelashes for some extra glam. And next, to finish out the look, we're just going to load up some of the neon pink and give ourselves a little bit of lipstick for some bright, fun color. And we'll go in with some of the Afterglow Cosmetic Glitter in the same pink color and just dab it in the center of the lip for a finishing touch. And that's it. That's the finished design. If you guys try this, tag the Face Paint Forum Shop in your design. Thanks for watching. See you next time.